I think one of my favorite parts about that show was that uh, it was very collaborative. Uh, working with Carl was a pretty wonderful experience. He was always receptive to the things that we wanted to input. And he was always, always very clear to say, if you want to try it, we'll try it, um, which was always fun. Um, but it was also a very loving cast. We were all very close. Uh, we're all very close, I should say. I should not put that in the, in the past. Um, and that, that made it a very, very unique experience for me um, coming from an artistic, an artistic space. Um, and then the last thing I really think that was wonderful is that it was, it was both an emotional, but also a very um, educational experience. It came from a, a, wonderful, a wonderful history that was rich and learning all about that was uh, for lack of a better term kind of enlightening <laughs> we were very clear that you know this was this was originally put on in april of 1968 uh and then we had stonewall in june of 1969 and so we had to understand that things are very different now uh so we had to perform this production from a 2020 lens because if we didn't then it just wouldn't be received the way that it needs to well, because it's an immersive performance, it's very difficult to stream. So as far as I know, I don't believe they have any intention to do that. But of course, I'm not the production team, so don't quote me on that. Um, but I do know that um, after speaking with some of them briefly, that they do intend to reopen in 2021, but um, only when it's safe, as they don't want to put any artists, patrons, employees at any risk of their health. First, had to reflect a lot, take, take in what had occurred. Uh, and then I really started to to put focus on things that had happened in my past. So I was very reflective if we're thinking about, you know, things that occurred in the past. Um, something that I was working on building the present is I wanted to develop a lot of my lesser developed skills. Um, I, I kind of took a, a deep, personal, honest dive into myself to realize what things I hadn't given enough time to. And I started working on those. And that's been very, very rewarding. Um, I'm very thankful that I took the time to do that. But then also um, I wanted to make sure I was securing something for my future, uh, which I, I don't know if you're aware, but with uh, a project that I'm working on, I actually started my own production company, which is Solely Film Productions. Um, if anybody's interested in looking into that, you can find us on Instagram or just www.solelyfilm.com.